welcome, Daddy. So, Pastor, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Quara State, we appreciate you, appreciate your coming, appreciate your desire that we pray for our state. Our state will be free from the oppression of principalities and powers in Jesus' name. Our ministers, headed by the chairman of Khan, we appreciate you all and appreciate the leadership of our chairman in Khan, as well as PFN and all the various blocks. And we have come together as the body of Christ for this crusade that blessing will come upon every life, yeah. upon every family. Yeah. I can see you are excited already. A miracle is coming your way in Jesus' name. All our friends, participants, online, the Lord loves you. I love you too. We all love you. And today, the opening of this great crusade for supernatural deliverance. It has come. I said it has come. It will touch your life. It will transform your life. And today, the joy of heaven will come upon your soul in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for what you have planned to do in every life. Lord, I pray that today no one will miss this miracle in Jesus' name. Power, anointing, unction, manifestation, miracles of every kind upon every life today in Jesus' name. Let there be confirmation in every life. In Jesus' name, we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, as we begin, this supernatural deliverance crusade, campaign, outreach, whatever we call it, divine touch, will come upon your life. Give me a good quarter state. Amen. Tonight, as we begin, I'm looking at Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. You can sit down. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. And after this manner, therefore, pray ye, a father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Christ, the very Son of God, taught us to pray like he prayed. Every time he prayed, he looked up and he said, Father, talking to God, God the Creator, God the Almighty, God, the ancient of this, God with whom all things are possible, God that will bless you tonight. And he would always say, Father, and so that we too will be successful and we will have the life and the victory, the dominion, the power, the triumph that he had. He said, if you want to have the same victory and the same triumph I have. Pray like I pray. And so he said, A Father who art in heaven. Tonight I'm talking to you on the unfailing source of supernatural deliverance. How can we have supernatural deliverance? How can you in particular have supernatural deliverance? We're going back to the source. The source, the origin, the originator, the very spring of supernatural deliverance. And it's no other one but God, the Father. That's why he says, a father 
which art in heaven. In Ephesians chapter 1, reading from verse 3, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's the source, the source of salvation, the source of healing, the source of miracle, the source of wonders, the source of everything good in the world, everything good in your life. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us. You are blessed already. Just by coming, just by having expectation, just knowing that there is a God in heaven with all power and with all might, that is a God in heaven that all things are possible with him. Just knowing that you are blessed. Yeah. Who has blessed us, not who has blessed them. You see, there are people, they hear others receive miracles, others receive healing, others receive deliverance, others have the expectations of their lives. Them, but now your name is included tonight. As those who are going to have the manifestation of the miracle power of God, your name is there. My name is there. My name is there. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I'm talking to you, as I said, on the unfailing source of supernatural deliverance. I'm going to have one, two, three. And then the showers of the rain of blessings will begin to fall upon you. Yeah. One, point number one, the power of the Heavenly Father. The power of the Heavenly Father is still there. At the time Jesus spoke, a Father which art in heaven, before the time Jesus came to the world, a Father which art in heaven, after a thousand years and two thousand years that Christ had gone back to heaven, the Father is still where he is, a Father which acts in heaven. Number one, the power of the heavenly Father. Number two, the promise of his healing favor. The promise of his healing favor. The Lord has come to favor you today. I'm talking to somebody there. I said the Lord has come to favor you today. You may not know because you said, well, I never have favor from here, from there. I always miss teach tonight. Favor will come to you from heaven. Tonight, miracle will come to you from heaven. Tonight, the love of God beyond your expectation will come from heaven to you tonight in Jesus' name. Number two, the promise of his healing of favor. Number three, the privilege of a helpful fellowship. The privilege of a helpful fellowship. Look at number one here. Number one here is the power of the heavenly father. The question is, since God is inviting you, and he looks at you, and he says, tonight, I want to dry up all your tears. I want to solve all your problems. I want to take care of your life. I want to give you a new life, a new life beyond your wildest dream. I want to give you tonight. You say, thank you, Lord. But the one thing you want to know is how mighty, how powerful is the God that invites you. Because it's inviting you tonight. And every unsolvable problem in your life, 
tonight is your night of solution. And so, how mighty, how powerful is the God who invites you, the Heavenly Father, the power of the Heavenly Father. Look at this verse in Jeremiah chapter 32, reading from verse 27. Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. It says, Behold, I am the Lord. Behold, I am the Lord. If you're always on the move, you will not stand, stay, wait enough to behold. There are many people, they are always on the move. They don't have time. They don't have time to behold the power of the Heavenly Father. But tonight it says, wait, hold on. Don't be in a hurry and behold the power of the Lord. That power will work in your life. Yeah. Every mountain, it will roll away. Yeah. If you have any challenge, you may run in here and there. You went up, you went down, you went far, and the solution did not come. Hold on. Wait. Behold. It says, I am. Not I was. I am. Not I will be. I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Praise the Lord. That flesh that has cancer is the God of all flesh. The flesh that the devil had torn and tormented is the God of all flesh. The flesh that's almost dying and already smelling. He is the God of all flesh. Life will come to that flesh. Power from heaven will come to that flesh. Then he asks the question, is there anything to hatch for me? I thought you will answer. No. Your situation, is that your heart for God? No. Your heart, life, your suffering, your torments, your desires, everything you dream of for yourself, for your family, peace of mind, rest in your soul, happiness and joy, and then all the torments of the devil and all the things the devil has part in your life, in your family, in your body, for God to remove. Is there anything too hard for God? He will do it tonight. Look at verse 17. Verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power. Jeremiah, in answering the question that God asked, is there anything too hard for me? Then Jeremiah said, I look at all the stars, you make them all. I look at the sun, you make them all. I look at the moon, you make them all, and you hang them there, and they run in their orbits, and no one ever drops off. If you can keep the sun, the moon, the stars, and then the ocean, if you can keep that for thousands of years, and the land, and everything that is made, Lord, by your great power, you have stretched everything out, and there is nothing too hard for thee. In your life tonight, there is nothing too hard for him. In your family tonight, there is nothing too hard for him. Yeah. You see, I don't like my character, my behavior. And I've been trying to change. I make resolutions, resolutions. I want to be a better boy, a better girl, a better man, a better woman, a better husband, a better wife, a better servant, a better civil servant, a better person all around. I've tried and tried. Tonight, God will do it. 
He said, there is nothing in her too hard for thee. Look at Psalm 62. Reading from verse 11. In Psalm 62 verse 11, it says, God has spoken once and twice. Have I heard this? That power belongeth unto God. Power belongeth unto God. The power that will turn your life around for the better belongeth unto God. The power that will put joy in your heart, a smile on your mouth, power belongeth unto God. The power that will take you away from the dungeon of captivity and then put you to the mountain top of victory, of joy, or happiness, that power belongeth unto God. Will you taste it tonight? Yes. Will you know it tonight? Yes. Will you connect with that power tonight? Yes. Hey, look at this, look at this. We're looking at uh, Matthew chapter 19, uh, verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. I want you to begin to think now, with men, Remove that N, M E N, remove the N. With me, this is impossible. Think about the things you have found impossible in your life. Go here, I cannot. Climb up, I cannot. Run, I cannot. Stand, I cannot. Bench, ah, uh -uh. my back has a problem. I cannot eat good food. I cannot sleep. I cannot. You find man finds a lot of things impossible in his life. With me, this is impossible. Not only me, with men, other men, everybody around. This is impossible, but with God. With God. Say it aloud. With God. All things are possible. There is nothing that God has promised that he will do that he cannot do tonight. He will do it tonight. Begin to think about those impossible things. In your life, you've tried, men have tried, they found that impossible. But tonight, possibilities have come in your life. Yeah. I said possibilities have come in your life. Yeah. Luke chapter 1, verse 37. In Luke chapter 1, verse 37. For with God nothing shall be impossible did i hear any amen yeah. that's why we're here tonight to remind ourselves that god is the source of supernatural deliverance i rejoice with you that tonight your supernatural blessing has come already yeah. healing for you deliverance for you salvation for you impossibilities becoming possible in your life tonight in jesus name i see a mother there looking at her son because that son had had a challenge they're taking here and there and nothing could be done Tonight, your solution has come. I see somebody looking at himself, at herself. Look at my predicament. Look at my problem. And I've gone here and there. And no solution. Congratulations, you are here tonight. You are there tonight. Your solution has now come. Look at point number two there. Point number two. We're looking at the promise of his healing favor. The promise of his healing favor. Favor tonight. Favor tonight. Nothing 
will stand between you and divine favor tonight in Jesus' name. Jeremiah chapter 3, 33, verse 3. In Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, call unto me. That's why at the end of the preaching, we say, don't go, because the preaching only tells us the possibilities with God. When we wait, then we call unto him, and miracles will begin to shower down upon everyone. Yeah. Call unto me, and I will answer thee. Will God answer you tonight? Yeah. Seriously, ser truly, will God answer you tonight? Yeah. He will answer your prayer. Yeah. That's what he said. He is God. He cannot lie. He has given us the promise of his favor. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, behold, I will bring health and kill. I will bring, he's bringing it from heaven. And he's bringing it for you. And you are going to have it tonight. The moment you will say, in Jesus' name we pray, that healing will come upon your right there. Behold, I bring it health and kill. And I will kill them. Not only one person, them. How many of them? All of you, all of them, all of us coming to you today. I say, coming to you today. Behold, it says, I will kill them and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. When salvation comes, the peace of God will come in your heart. Forgiveness will come. Condemnation will vanish away. And then you will go in the joy of the salvation of the Lord because that is the favor God said it will show unto you. Look at Isaiah chapter 57. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 18. I have seen his ways and I will heal him. I, will, I have seen his ways. The Lord has seen you there. Yeah. Where are you? The Lord locates you where you are. Yeah. All those online, all those over the radio, over the television, the Lord has located you where you are. Yeah. And he says, I will heal him. And I will restore him also. I will lead him also. And restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. Restore comforts. Comfort coming to you. You know, in all these uh, global crusades, the Lord has been blessing people with the comfort they need in their personal lives, in their families, in their communities. There was this uh, young man in Cross River State. It's been, the condition had been a condition of sorrow in the family. Why? Because their son, Richard, watching was having insanity, real, real madness. And the parents could not do anything. But then the crusade came, like your own has come today. Yeah. And then we prayed after prayer that insanity for 12 long years 
everything in her vanished away. Comfort came. I said comfort came. Deliverance came. Can I show you his picture? Look at this. I was afflicted with the spirit of madness. I was insane for 12 years. So I got my healing during the visit of Dr. Pastor W.F. Komoyi to Calabar. This is my son. What I passed through to him, I wouldn't want my enemy to pass through it. I suffer a lot on him. You can imagine a boy of this stage. I don't enjoy him, rather suffer. I suffer on him. I mean suffer and I wouldn't pray it for any mother. As you see him, he cannot sit for five minutes. That's how he'll be going round and round and round. And when I asked him, why can't you sit quiet? He said that thing doesn't allow me to sit. He wants me to be going round and round like that. So while I was in the camp. I was praying after the message. He said we should lay hand on where we had the problem. I lay hand on my on my head. So I got back home. I slept. So when it was uh, 4 p.m., 4 a.m. in the morning, I was pressed. So I decided to go to the toilet. So when I came back, I shut the door and lie down. In no time, I felt something trying to lift me up. And I stood up. I checked where I was lying down. I couldn't see anything. I checked the shirt I was wearing, whether it was a rat that got in there. I couldn't see anything. So I lie down back. So when it was Sunday morning, I decided to take a few steps out to ease myself. I now saw a rat, a dead rat in a vision, fell to the ground. And since that time, I have gotten my healing. I have been okay. I am healed and perfectly well. Glory be to God. Somebody there, praise the Lord. Comfort. Comfort for you. Comfort for your children. And comfort for your families in Jesus' name. That power is here tonight. And to roll all your problems, roll everything away in Jesus' name. Look at Mark chapter 16 reading there from verse 15 it says and he said unto them go into all the world like we're doing now through this global crusade to all the world from here the alpha location to all the major cities and villages everywhere in our country nigeria and to all the countries and nations here in africa and beyond Africa, everywhere. Go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Look at verse 16. It says, he that believeth, that's you tonight. I said that's you tonight. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. But he that believeth not shall be damned. I pray you will not be among the damned. I will not be among the damned. You'll be saved. I said you'll be saved. Verse 17, and this son shall follow them that believe. As we're going back home tonight, signs and wonders will follow you. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Miracles will follow you home. Healing will follow you home. Deliverance will follow you home. In 
my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues verse 18 they shall take up serpents that that may take them up and throw them away and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them they shall lay hands on the sick what will happen and the hand of the Lord will be on you tonight. What will happen? You will recover. The Lord will put testimony in your mouth. And then we're told in verse 20. In verse 20 it says, And they went forth and they preached everywhere. The Lord walking with them. Everywhere they preached. The Lord walking in with them. Every time they preach, the Lord walking in with them. And the Lord is walking with us tonight. And confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Let's come to number three now. Number three, a privilege has come. The privilege of a helpful fellowship. The privilege of a helpful fellowship. As we come tonight, I want to link you up in fellowship with the Heavenly Father. In fellowship with Christ. In fellowship with true believers in Christ. The privilege we have of a helpful fellowship. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 9, it says, God is faithful. Tonight, God is faithful. As we pray tonight, God is faithful. By whom you are called into the fellowship, unto the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. When you come in fellowship with the Lord, great things happen and tonight as we come into fellowship with the lord great things will happen in your life yeah. there are times when we as we came into the world we came with a particular challenge born with that challenge but as we come in fellowship with the mighty creator with the one who cannot fail and whose power is still at work until today. Those infirmities and those problems we were born with, even those infirmities tonight, they will vanish away. In one of the crusades where had, there was a boy, a child that was born was the pallet cleft closed and there was like a deep wound not just one like an opening and when the child opened the mouth it's like a big ditch inside they went to hospitals they went here and there but it was only when they were able to connect in fellowship with the Lord. During one of the crusades, as we mentioned the name of Jesus, instantaneously, that thing that the child was born with, healed, got healed immediately. Our God is an awesome God. And tonight, I bring you into fellowship to such a mighty God. Before I go on, let me show you that boy. Let me show you the family and see what happened to them and understand the same miracle power is here tonight. He roll that problem away. My name is Chubudum Herbert. I really want to thank God for what God has done to my son, Goswe Chubudum. He was born with a big opening from the mouth, right from bat, where when he eats, he comes from the nose. And when he drinks, he comes from the nose. 
So I, oh, we have made a lot of effort by going to hospital for plastic surgeries, but uh, we couldn't get a good result. When we have a global crusade, we went to the global crusade. At the end of the global crusade, when WF prayed for those who were sick, and after the prayer, we came back home, and suddenly, uh, he went to the, my car beside the car and checked his mouth. And he saw that the, the opening has been closed. And uh, we, he shouted, we really glorify God for what he has done to his life, that he has no more fever. And uh, we are here to testify what God has done for us and for him in particular. Praise the Lord. For yourself tonight, praise the Lord. For your miracle tonight, praise the Lord. For your divine connection to the Almighty God, praise the Lord. Your own time has now come. My time has come. I'm looking for somebody there. My time has come. And tonight, God is faithful. Through Jesus Christ, you'll be connected with the Father. He will bring you into fellowship. The middle wall of partition, your sin, your condemnation, your guilt that separated you from God, the Lord will remove that tonight. You'll come into fellowship. He will say, you are my son, you are my daughter, I've forgiven you. And in that fellowship, miracles will begin to flow in your life. Amen. What we do is, we turn away from our sins. We turn to the Lord. We say, Lord, I'm sorry for every bad thing I did in the past. But now, as I turn away from them, I ask forgiveness from you. And the Lord will forgive you. Who am I talking to then? Forgiveness. Forgiveness. And the peace of God will settle in your heart. Equal state. Amen. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is your moment of being connected with the faithful God and with the favor of the Lord this is your time that you say yes Lord I come yes Lord I give myself to you yes Lord I turn away from my sin and I turn unto you for forgiveness it's bowed and eyes closed if you're coming to the Lord right now and you want his forgiveness, you want the peace of mind, you want the pardon, you want him to erase all the sins you have committed before, so you can come into fellowship with him. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. God bless you there, wonderful. Just tell the Lord there, as you raise up your hand, Lord, I come into fellowship with you tonight. Lord, I come into fellowship with you tonight. Anywhere you are, on the right, on the left, in front of me, and far at the back, anywhere. And on radio, television, uh, social media, anywhere you are, I turn away from my sin. And I want to come into fellowship with the Almighty God. I need His forgiveness. Raise up that hand. If you are raising up your hand, please uh, stand up. Stand up. You are not ashamed of the forgiveness of the Lord. You are not ashamed of the salvation of the Lord. You are not ashamed of coming into fellowship with the Heavenly Father. Just uh, raise up your hand and stand up. While you are standing up, tell the Lord, O oh Lord, I come to you. Tell the Lord right there. I turn away from my sin. Tell the Lord right there. I need your favor. I need your forgiveness. Tell the Lord right there. I know you are a faithful God. You don't want me to perish. You want me to be saved. Forgive me, Lord. And grant me your grace to now continue to live in righteousness. I need your help. 
Help me, Lord. He cannot fail. He's a faithful God. Tell him, thank you. Tell him, thank you. I believe my sins are forgiven. Thank you. I believe my soul is saved. Thank you. I believe I'm now in fellowship with the Heavenly Father. I'm going to pray with you now. Keep on standing up. Father, in Jesus' name, I pray for all your creatures who have now become your children. They have turned away from their sin. They have repented of their sins. And they want your grace and favor and forgiveness and your strength. I pray, do it for them now in Jesus' name. Forgive them. Give them your peace. Give them your salvation. And confirm the joy of salvation in their hearts right now. Lord, give them assurance they have now come into fellowship with the Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. I said it is done. Our counselors are there and they'll spend a very short brief time with you. They want to take some details so that we can know that you have come into fellowship with the Heavenly Father. You've got forgiveness and you've got the salvation of the Lord. We we'll call on our state of us here to lead us before I come to pray for the supernatural healing deliverance of the people of God. A state of a seer, please. Come into a fellowship with the Heavenly Father. It's a privilege. It's a great one. You are a VIP now. You are very important to God, to angels. You are very important. You are very important. The the counselors, please take their names, their phone number, their addresses, and uh, give them the package that our Father and the Lord have prepared for them. Those of you online, connect with Christ. You can see on the television, there's a link on your screen. Con connect to that link now. And you connect with Christ. It's a great opportunity to become a member of the family of God. On radio, on television, in the, on the social media, in YouTube, Zoom, in all social media platforms, including the GS Facebook, opportunities, they are there for you. Connect with Christ. You are a new creature. All oh, things have passed away. Those of you here in Alpha location, put your right address, your full name and phone number. You can't tell lies again. You are born again. Make sure everything you are writing is correct because power of God will visit you. Tonight is your night. Do you remember the man of God said it? He said, tonight is your night. Night of miracle. Whatever your problem may be, it will disappear and vanish in the name of Jesus. You are the next to testify. Cancel us. If you are true, raise the flag. On the left hand side, if you are true, raise the flag. On the center area, if you are true, raise the flag. Counselor, don't waste time. Take the proper address, their names. If you are there, you, are, you, are, you should be praying. If you are not one of the, the converts, pray. Tell the Lord, today is my day. Today is my day, day of, the day of deliverance, day of, day of deliverance from sin, Satan, and evil. Today is my day. 
Don't just look around. Pray. You are here for a, for a miracle. You are here for deliverance. Those problems that you brought here, you will not go with them. For those of you who have given your life to Christ, there's going to be a special banquet. We're going to give you all the details of the information. You will come for that banquet, you will connect to Christ. There's a phone number you can call and can send message to. The number is plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Listen again. Plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two six three. Connect with Christ. Cancel us, be fast about the business. If you are finished in your section, let the supervisor raise the flag. Others pray, seek the Lord, call upon him. Today is your day of miracle. Those of you who are giving your life to God, collect your special package. Don't just sit down. Or if they have not come to your side, raise up your hand properly so that your name can be taken and you will collect your package. We're getting ready now. Are you ready for miracle? Conf cancel or confirm. If you are true, raise up the flag. Raise the flag on my left hand, the right hand, at the middle. I can see the flag. Okay, I can see the flag at the back. At my right hand side, let's see the flag if you are true. Wave the flag up. If you are true in your section. Okay. I can see the flag at my right hand side. This at the center. I'm here to see the flag. Let, okay. I can see the flag. As that flag is waving, miracle is coming upon your life. Coming upon your life. The blind we see. The live will walk. Insanity will disappear. Everything tonight, they shall crumble under the power of the Almighty God. Rise up and be getting ready. Get ready, be praying. And tender your request to God. He's ready to answer your prayer. If you have somebody far away, Pray and connect that person. Miracle can travel to anywhere. In USA, Asia, Germany, China, India, Australia, every part of the world. Our father is here now. Our father is here. You are welcome, sir. Somebody there, praise the Lord. Our God is a God of power. That power will come upon your life right now. Is anything too hard for the Lord? Your problems will be solved. Your sicknesses will vanish away. Impossibilities will become possible. You see those other people whose problems were solved just at the mention of the name of Jesus. And tonight, at the mention of the name of Jesus, you'll be healed. Amen. Don't think of other people, not just yourself. Whatever the problem, you're blind, you're lame, you have tumor, you have any challenge, this is your moment of miracle. Amen. After the final amen, 
you check up yourself, you find it is done. Yeah. What are you? You need a miracle, deliverance, healing, power manifestation, provision, signs and wonders. Raise up one hand and lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight because we know you are a mighty God, a miracle working God, a God that cannot fail. And Lord, I send forth your power in the life of everyone right now in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, as you have promised us, as you have reminded us that you are the God of all flesh and with you nothing shall be impossible. We pray there will be a manifestation of that power even now in Jesus' name. Touch everyone now. Heal the sick right now. Those blind eyes I command be opened in Jesus' name. Insanity vanish away in Jesus' name. Paralysis, stroke, I command be healed in Jesus' name. Any tumor, fibroid, growth, hunchback, elephantiasis, hernia, all that growth I command be removed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray all those things working about in the body, your grant everyone total, complete, permanent deliverance at this very time in Jesus' name. Incurable diseases like cancer, tuberculosis, kidney problem, kidney failure, heart attack be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray everywhere now, both here on the grounds and the Alpha location, over the radio, over the television, everywhere where people are alone in their families, in their houses, or in fellowships and congregations, everywhere, manifest your power in Jesus' name. Set the captives free. Deliver the oppressed. Break every yoke. Destroy the works of the devil. Manifestation, demonstration of miracle power every, everywhere now in Jesus' name. Confirm the miracle. Confirm your power. Confirm the healing. Confirm the deliverance. Everywhere a shout of testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself. Check up yourself. Whatever you could not do before, your miracle is already there. Do it and you will see. Impossibilities has become possible. Nobody going away now. Stay where you are and let the power of God in your life be celebrated tonight in Jesus' name. Everywhere.